Now, you might be thinking that last hitting is only important for the mid, top, and AD carries, but I'm here to say that is not true. Um, well, maybe except supports because, you know, AD carries are supposed to take the farm in the bot lane, but junglers do basically have to last hit as well. You know, getting that last smite off on the enemy blue buff when you're doing an evasion is very, very important to make sure that the enemy does not gain any sort of advantage just because you missed that last hit. In terms of last hitting, there are a few ways that you can ensure the uh, best performance that you can get out of yourself when in a game. Now, last hitting basically involves timing and getting to know how much damage your auto attack deals or maybe your spells deal depending on how you are last hitting. Maybe if you were someone like Karthus, who tends to last hit with his Q ability a lot, then you would have to find out how much damage his Q would deal, you know, damage in a single target, and damage when you hit multiple targets. As for, you know, typical other lanes such as AD carries and top lanes, when you're last hitting, you have to keep in mind how much damage auto attack deals. In terms of masteries, Putting two ranks into the Butcher Mastery can actually be quite substantial. I've always used this Mastery no matter who I'm playing, even supports because sometimes when your AD carry is not in lane, uh, it's nice to have a little bit more damage to farm on a turret or something. And of course in the offense tree there's also the Executioner Mastery which increases your damage by 5%, targets below 50% health. Of course, if you do 100 damage, that's an extra 5 bonus damage. And technically, with the Butcher and Executioner Master, you're dealing 9 extra damage, which is actually pretty good in terms of just being able to have it as mastery. Oh, and one last tip. Uh, if you do play support, be sure to try and figure out how much damage your lane partner can do. If you know how much damage they can do, then maybe if they don't have enough attack damage to successfully last hit under turret with one auto attack, you can be the good guy support and attack once so that when a tower hits a minion, they can safely last hit it for the goad.